It's such a common sight, passers-by barely notice. An 18-year-old man is asleep in a subway. But this is just yards from one of the entrances to Parliament. And right next to the spot where yesterday another homeless man called Marcus died. Marcus, who was in his 40s, was well known by workers at one of London's charities for the homeless. He was a very talented man, actually. He was a singer. Um, he also had work as a, as a model, as well as doing jobs in the hospitality industry, like being a waiter and things like that. So um, although his life wasn't in a brilliant place when he really sadly died yesterday, he also had all sorts of really great things that were happening in his life. And I think it's really important that we remember that. Jamie, who's also homeless, says he often slept in the same subway as Marcus and was there yesterday when outreach workers from the charity tried to revive him. Me and Marcus had been hanging around together for about the last two years and he'd been helping me over the last year beat my drug addictions because he was one of the homeless guys that separated himself away from the others and he kind of, like, helped me. Suleiman, the man sleeping in the subway today, was woken by a police officer who checked he was OK and offered him advice about nearby hostels. Suleiman's from Ethiopia and discovered this spot four weeks ago after moving from Manchester. The subway is a shortcut from the underground station to the Palace of Westminster. It's used every day by MPs and parliamentary workers and the man who died here was a familiar face to many of them. Every MP, every security, posty, K2 coming in and out of that main entrance to Parliament will have seen uh, this guy because of the queue on the way in. And you spoke to him? Yep, many of us will have said uh, hello. Some, some, uh, some people actually give hot drinks, food on the way in and out if, if, if people are there. The Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn, was one of the first to leave flowers at the spot where Marcus died. His card read, this should never have happened. As a country, we must stop walking by. Camilla Arkell and her son Jace were also here yesterday as the tragedy unfolded. We walked past yesterday morning and we just saw him lying there, covered in his red blanket and we just felt like we need to show some respect today. Also to teach my son that people do matter. Marcus's death on Parliament's doorstep was shocking enough in itself, but it's not unusual. He is the fourth rough sleeper to die on the streets of Westminster this year. Simon Harris, ITV News, Westminster.